is a bit street little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotar. forget you know why sometimes uh, she busted my chops that. but anyway, I, I, I'd like to introduce Olivia Milano there my co-host what a good girl <laughs> and uh, a girl that kind of likes me a little bit um, <laughs> I'm sorry I don't want to embarrass her She's <laughs> such a good late. girl um, Joy. what yeah Joy. That's what I was what's just her right. last name Joy Wayne Joy Wayne mm -hmm. Oh, Joy Wang. Joy Wang. Wang. Yeah. I spelled it. W-I-N-G. W-A-N-G. Wang. Oh, Wang. Oh, like Wayne. Alexander Wang. Joy Wang. Yes. <laughs> We're oh. related. Okay. That's a beautiful name. Are you name. really? <laughs> oh man, I was about to say, get me a bag. <laughs> Actually, I guess once upon a time, you know, a few centuries ago. We yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys so definitely have ancestry so. that yeah, goes back yeah. together. And Bonnie. Yes. She hi. was here last week. Hi, West here. I'm back. Yeah, I well, there win. you go. So nice to have you back again. <laughs> so nice to have you Thank back. Thank you. It's my fourth time on your show. I feel so lucky. Do you do like Saturday Night Live on your fifth time? You get that jacket? Oh, I'm on. Wait, you, you said you're on Monday, right? My show's Monday on Monday. Night. Yeah, Monday at, nights. At 8. PM. And I'm on Saturdays at 7. Sa but you know everything, don't well, you? I love television. Saturday at, uh, <laughs> at 7 p.m. Yeah. Channel 56. Okay. Channel That's pretty 56. nice. Yeah. Um, wow. So, you know, I always start off with a topic. I, I, I was talking about, you know, last week about the, you know, these guys that go around slashing people and all that other stuff. You know, they have to, you know, they have to change the laws. They have to. These people, I mean, there's, you have a poor, a poor guy out there has 37 stitches across his face. Mm. You're going to give this guy... 30 days in jail, and he gets 10 days off good time, so he'll be out in, he'll be out in three weeks. That's gets out insane. in 20 days with two years probation. I can't even believe when you read the news today, like it doesn't even seem real, the things that are happening. You know, I have one of those apps that you flip through and I'm yeah. like, I can't, how, how can it, it's just insanity. Yeah, the news always emphasizes on the bad though, so yeah. you know, they're like highlighting like the worst things that have happened. We got Bonnie back on the show again. Yes, I'm back. So let's talk about Bonnie. Well, I have a movie coming out very shortly called Fight Valley, where I play Madison Coro. It comes out July 22nd, so probably right after this show comes out. And that was a lot of fun. Um, it's actually opening worldwide in a is lot of theaters. Is it a feature film or an independent? Uh, it's, it's independent, and then Breaking Glass um, is doing the distribution. It's a Rob Hawk film. Uh, there's some pretty big stars from MMA. There's Misha Tate, um, Chris Cyborg, and Holly Holm, two, two out of the three top uh, female fighters in the world. Wow. And so I play the mother of two of the main characters. And so, yeah, I basically cry the whole film. It's not, it does not go well for my family. I'm just going to let that cat out of the bag. So it's just like a drama. It's very dramatic. It's fight club with women, basically. Huh, with a twist and a love story and revenge. And so... Ooh, that um, sounds fun. But yeah, every time I had a scene, they're like, okay, here's your script. I mean, I'm like, I'm just crying over the coffin. And then it would be the next day, I'm just crying on the couch. It's hard to cry on film for four hours. Because you know when you film movies, it's not just like you have a... 10 second crying scene no. you're filming it and then you're filming it from this angle and then they're focusing on this guy and that guy and the whole time they're like more tears more tears so yeah. Bring out the onions. that was interesting I do have places where I'm not where I'm happy in the film but very few I'm mostly crying I've always been very fascinated by an actor or actress's ability to cry on command for four hours at a time do you have any uh, how do you how do you do it? Well, Joy, I'm glad you asked. On the particular <laughs> day that we filmed the cry scene, I was with the guy I was dating for quite a long time, and we broke up on the way to the movie. <laughs> so, no way! I was so mad at him, and I just I was like so, mad, and he was in the scene, so I just looked at him and Are I you like cried. Hung that in. <laughs> so that's my secret. You have to access something real, and mm -hmm. sometimes God just gives you that gift. He's like, let's make him a jerk on the way to the filming, and then wow. I cried. So, That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, but you do have to access. Like, I always have to think. The one thing that can make me cry is if I think of my doggy not here anymore. Like, I can cry instantly or, like, the loss of someone in the past. So you really, with any acting, you have to be able to access 
and I've never Some taken classes, that. so I am not an expert, people. I'm just telling you what I've learned along the way. Um, but you really have to be able to tap into your emotional experiences that you've had and, and be yes, able to access that. this is very Stanislavski and Strasburg yeah, of you. <laughs> I, I don't know. I watch <laughs> SNL and a lot of binge-watching TV, and that's what I've learned. So, yeah. yeah. I mentioned earlier about the guy going around, I'm, I'm telling oh, no, me to change no, the subject the again. Like the guy going around <laughs> slashing slasher. people. What do you think that they should do? I don't even, you know, it's really difficult. I don't even know how to wrap my head around that. Like, I honestly don't know. You know, when something is that tragic and that terrible and so... Um, Violent. Violent, and it's not like you're in a war and you signed up and you knew what you were getting. I mean, it's it's random, and I, I just I don't even I can't even conceptualize. So I don't know. Something really bad should happen to him. Well, I think half of these people in New York, I don't, you know, about legalizing this pot. I don't know, you know, about the. Uh, are complex if they issues. Or not. I like, really don't because you got people that go around sucker punching people. Yeah, well, a lot of these people have mental illness, and they're just, they're not sane. And, and then when you're put not, them somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. should put them somewhere. That's that's definitely right. Yeah, it's hard. money so, and funding to do that. Sorry to skirt out of your answer, but I don't have one. I just, it's <laughs> yeah, too much. It it's too much to process for me. And uh, there's but. also, like, the idea what would put the person in the position to feel like they need to hurt the other person in the first place. Well, like, that's the thing. Gone, right? It's very, it's very saddening if you think... Maybe it's the upbringing or... Uh, yeah, the their, their past they experiences be. definitely yeah. shape the way they, they behave in society. I mean, they have to. <laughs> they have to, but they God, to. how much pain could you be in? I can't even... I, I should be it, the judge. <laughs> it breaks my heart if you just even hurt I someone's feelings, judge. you know, to like now. imagine... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Next topic. <laughs> Next question. Babe. Next, Next question. question. <laughs> Next question. Okay. Um... Next question. Okay, well, that, that threw me off. Okay. So now, all I want to say, I, I'd like to be the judge. That's it. Yeah. I would like be to be fun. the judge. I would love, I think and I'd after be a I judge. grab a few of them, one that sucker punch people, one cutting up with the razor blade, pushing people on change that, let me be the judge. We'll see how many other people want to do this after I get done with them. Are you going to do it soprano style? Or are you yeah, going to go like legal style? style. <laughs> well, well let me, you know, let me put it this way. You know, if you get somebody that sucker punches people. Yeah. You know what? You, and, and they, you know what they are? They're a bunch of punks. That's what they are. They are. You know, you want to you wanna sucker punch, and then they sucker punch you, and then they run. Yeah. They're a bunch of punks. Why don't you go to a gym and hit one of those punching bags? You know, what are you, are you do they got to show off in front of their friends that they can knock somebody down? Mm -hmm. And they do it to women, young women, older women, men, kids. Right. I, mean, I don't think they would like if somebody did that to their mothers, sisters, or whatever. They, I, you know what? I, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, people I, you, just I need to treat people better. I would put them in a cell. I would put them in yeah, a, in a jail well with a bunch of real animals that are in there that are doing life. Yeah. You know, and let them let them spend like They're thirty happy. days with them and tell these guys, don't kill them, just kick the shit out of them. <laughs> you know. Teach him a lesson. Give him that old Let me tell you something. Beating. After 30 days, he'll come out. He ain't going to do that no more. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, probably Let not. me be the judge. If I was ever the, a mayor in New York, I would have to walk around with an homage suit. They would, they would ice me right away. Oh, right away. <laughs> 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 but it's, a, I mean, I don't know, it's hard. The city has gotten so much safer and so much better, and I feel so much safer here than so many other places, but then you have stuff like that happening to you. I feel like New York, because there's just so many more people, yeah, there's, there's so much of more of everything. There's so many good people, more good people, and there's so many more bad people, and they're just squished in, so, like, those things happen. But comparatively to the last decades, it's such a more safe city than it, it has been. Yes. It's just, My son's just tragic girlfriend... Came, came in from uh, Arizona, what's today? Tuesday? Tuesday. 22nd. Tuesday. She came in Monday. First. She had to go to court yesterday. It's another story. And then she left today. And she was telling us how nice it was in Arizona and how peaceful and quiet yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how much my son loves it there. And, and I talked to my son about five, six times a day. Yeah. You know, Daddy, when you coming out? Daddy, when you coming out? And he just loves it. And I'm... I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of like happy that he's there because he's safe. He said, there's none of those punks walking around the street. 
you're slashing people. It's and, different. Well, everybody, it's very different. you're allowed it's to peaceful. carry a gun over there? Yeah. So what he tells me, he's got me more nervous. He goes, hey, Daddy, I bought a gun. I said, oh, no. Oh. Please. Really, what are you going to do with the gun? A lot of, these are a lot of big topics. I said, well, you're Can't we talk New about York. something? Yeah, yeah. you're, you're in New York. all right now. You're freaking war zone. <laughs> now you moved to heaven, and you got to buy your gun over there. Oh, my God. Well, for, uh, in case anybody ever tries to break in ass. Well, there's, like, wild animals and stuff, I'm sure. Well, he's... Uh, well, Coyotes. Like coyotes. Yeah, but he's not in the suburbs. He said he's a block away from Denny's and some of the other stores over there. Yeah. You know? So he's not like in the suburbs okay. you know, where there's snakes and all that other stuff. Yeah, this is yeah. a good point. A lot of people feel like they need this extra protection. So mm -hmm. he says, Daddy, don't worry about it. I just, I just keep it in the car. I know. He was living in a war zone over here. He moved to heaven. Now you gotta buy, you gotta get over there. Yeah. I said, what kind Maybe of device? A nine millimeter. Oh my nine god. Nine millimeter. How people even guns? can just buy these things? I don't even know crazy. what that is. Don't you need a license? Nine millimeter. <laughs> you know you he do. He said he got a license. I'm you, sure. You get, you get, you carry a sock and you put a lock in it, a heavy lock in it, and somebody better just whack him <laughs> with the, with the sock. <laughs> or, wait, I got a better one. Little Italy style. Or you carry a water gun. Okay. Make sure it doesn't leak. Hold on a second. So I know this one. She's going to come up with something. <laughs> carry a water gun and put Clorox in it. Oh, no. And make sure it doesn't leak. And if somebody goes to body and you point and say, man, what you want to do with that thing? Or, oh, my gosh. That's it. And just go in once. That's horrible. So I try to do something. That's horrible. Well, well, if you didn't do that, the guy might kill you. He did a... He's there to rob you, rape you, self whatever. Self-defense, self-defense. I just think maybe work on your karma, stay out of dangerous places. This is her California vibes. I like it. I yeah, like it. Keep going. Yeah, I mean, I just try to, I don't know. Give out good energy. Stick to myself. Give good energy. You have to just be I don't, careful. I don't seem to have that problem when I'm walking in the street. I've been very lucky, I feel, because I have I've walked the streets of New York at night. I actually just had an incident where I ended up in Saudi Arabia accidentally. In Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Now you wind up in Saudi Arabia. Well, you let me tell, tell you. So, you plane. Uh, so my assistant, who's no longer, um, booked all my travel for me. And we'd had a few incidences of things like not quite going right. But I'm an extremely busy person, so I don't have time to do that, which is why you pay someone to do that that they're good at. So anyway, she had sent something apparently and saying, can you approve, can you approve these? And so I just looked at the times. Like I needed to be in Dubai. I needed to leave New York at one time and be in Dubai. I didn't look where it went. I just figured logically you bought me a ticket to Dubai. Well, no such luck. The day before, I get a thing saying your flight was postponed one day, and then I get to the airport, and it's on Saudi Air. And I was like, I don't know. And so in my mind, I thought maybe, you know when you go to Hawaii, how you fly to like Honolulu, and then you go to the, a hopper to a small island? I guess I just thought maybe that's what was happening, like that I was going to go to like the big island of Dubai, and then, I don't know. So all of a sudden, I land in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. I was like, so I was the only Westerner, the only woman alone, obviously. But you got, you were all right, though. Well, I'm yeah. alive, yeah. yeah. But it was a very you didn't fast leave the six airport. hours. No, I didn't leave the airport. You know what, yeah, what no, plane yeah. you get on? Yeah. Well, I know. I mean, I didn't get on the wrong plane. It was an accident by someone on my staff. But it was very, um, anyway, my point being is that I do feel like I have really good karma. Because I've had a few of those situations in my life. I don't even think that's legal. I don't even think you can go there as a woman by yourself. But I did. And I was fine. And no one bothered me. At one point, I fell asleep on the bench. And I woke up. And these five little kids were giggling and playing with my hair. Because they think they've no, never seen these little, little kids. Because they've Saudi never Arabia? seen, yeah, they've never seen a blonde person. I look like frozen or something to them, yeah. you know? Have, have they seen gray hair where maybe the girls might want to touch it? I, you know what? I didn't really see any... You don't see gray hair there because the women are covered and the men are shakes. I mean, I couldn't deal so with like that. So, like, you Very don't features, see yeah. any white hair. Oh, huh? man, that's, that's, that's horrible. How did it... Well, do they ever get to see what they look like? Yeah, yeah at home, at definitely. Home. And covered. Where? At home, they're, at they home. take That's if they're married. They have a job, yeah. But if they're not married, they have to go by... Just your eyes? Yeah. Oh, man. I would have bad luck. I know if I, if <laughs> I ever took that thing. would not like that place. You said what? you read eyes. You can read eyes. The women, some of those women are so beautiful. Like, it yeah, some. I would fascinating get one with how beautiful they are. And, no. Uh, <laughs> they're beautiful. Broken nose and all that other stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, no. I would say, put that back on again. You'll look better with that thing on. <laughs> anyway, now we're on another heavy topic. But oh, I was just telling you, my point being is that I feel like if you have good karma in life, you can kind of protect from some of those things. I don't know. Maybe something will happen to me, and I'll feel differently, and I'll become bitter. And, and it's just very about being aware. Like, Bonnie, terrible with all your happen. traveling, please be safe. Yes. I am safe-ish. I mean, I yeah, I try. I mean, you can. So I don't worry safe. about that because people tell me that he ain't nobody gonna bother you because when you walk the street, you look like mafia. Some of them tell me you look like a decoy cop with all this jewelry <laughs> on. <laughs> what? I thought you were Italian mafia. <laughs> what was that? I thought you were Italian mafia. She thought you were in the mafia. There we go. There we go. I got, I got yeah. one on each side. He takes that as a compliment. Yeah, I have one on each side now. Yes, like, yes. Do, wait, do you want me to be Italian mafia? Yeah, he just, maybe, is he just acting like one. Maybe, like probably. Don't worry. I he plays it a, a lot. I'm Italian mafia. Um, he gets typecasted as that. Well, yeah, they either they, they think you're mafia or you're a decoy cop if you're wearing all these jewelry and you're in a bad neighborhood. Or you're in that job. Yeah. So whatever it is, they're going to leave you alone. And I've been to some wild neighborhoods, and people see me with all this on, they just keep walking. Yeah. It's less about your attitude, how you carry yourself. If you look comfortable, then I don't think people are going to want to, you know. Right. Yeah, I get typecast as the soccer mom a lot. I have a lot of TV kids. I have like six kids <laughs> with my movies and TV shows. Uh, oh, that's so funny. You're right. Six yeah. kids and a dog. Right. So soccer moms are the best. Yeah, it's totally <laughs> fun. I love my ki my TV kids. Do you have like, any children? Not yet. Of your own? No, no. not yet. Not yet. So no, I'm working on it. Are you planning on a boyfriend or something? Or? Well, yeah, I'm definitely what planning on having babies. <laughs> so what do, you, what do you have? A dog and cats? No. What do you have? Yeah, cats? Just, just cats? a dog. I'm sorry? A dog. Just, Just a, a dog. dog. Yeah, I'm not a cat person. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Cat person or a dog? I'm a cat person. You're a cat so person? So I don't I have am. anything against I'm them. I just love my doggy. And I'm allergic to cats. Person. Oh, you are? I am <laughs> too. I am too. I yeah. do happen to like pit bulls. I love you too. <laughs> my baby, she's a pit bull person. I am. Okay. Um, I am. <laughs> you know what I forgot to do earlier in the show? I forgot to introduce my producer of my show. His name is Scott, and he's sitting in the back. And, uh, Scott's the best. Yeah, Scott. Scott's always there for me. Aww. Calls me up all the time and always makes sure I'm okay. And calls me up more than my family. You know, <laughs> are you okay, Vinny? You need anything? And Aww. he's always, can I? You want me to come down? You want me to do anything for you? So he nice. He lives all the way uptown. I live all the way downtown. Guy's an angel, you know. But anyway, that's Scott. Love it. Yeah, he's a good guy. He's great. Like you said, it's good to surround yourself I'm, with good I'm people. Trying to get, yeah, I'm, you have to have a I good team. Get oh my to gosh. Do that. Call me. That's my friend. Yeah, and when you don't, you have to get rid of them quick, <laughs> quick, quick yeah. quickly. That's the lesson I've learned. <laughs> yeah. Through all of this life stuff. <laughs> life stuff. <laughs> How many cats got one? Dog. I'm a dog, dog. person. Oh, a dog. Ginger. I'm, I'm sorry. One I have dog. ginger. You one would dog. fall in love with everybody. Kind of she is a King Charles Cavalier and Chihuahua oh. mix. Wow. Cutest dog you've ever seen, and I'm not oh. even joking. I know everybody says that, but people Everyone stop us about their dogs. all day long and want to take photos with her. And she's been in movies. She's been on TV. She's been in commercials. She's super mm. cute. Not by like we didn't try. They just people ask, and she does. So she's. I think my biggest impression of Chihuahuas is Bruiser with Legally Blonde. Oh yes, that was, you know, and that you're was almost a great like, dog. You know, like beautiful blonde hair. <laughs> you know, I could totally imagine you like teetering around with <laughs> Ginger. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> so here, thank you. First of all, I'll take that Reese Witherspoon compliment. But yes. I am. Um, I want to be your puppy. The funny thing is, in life, is that oh, I am the last person that would have a small purse dog. And I inherited Ginger six years ago, um, like in an emergency oh, situation. <laughs> and um, I've become that person. It's so funny. I have a purse. She's usually with me. She's not here tonight. She's resting. But it's funny. It just happens. And then it just, I can't imagine my day without her. I take her on the subway. I take her on the bus. Everywhere I go, she goes. So. You know what's dogs of New York. What I've noticed, like walking down the streets of New York, you see dog owners and their puppies or their dogs, and more often than not, you'll find that they start to look like each other. Yeah, uh, they, like, definitely. They resemble each other. Yeah. I mean, the dogs look like their their the masters. Owners. Yeah. You're right. It's true. Yeah, men always have like a lab or you know like a bigger dog. I mean, and you'll see like a 
fluffy yeah. puppy and then you'll get like an owner that's got like really, really big hair or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Just kind of like yeah. something about the dog starts resembling. I mean, I, I don't think they literally look alike, <coughs> but they definitely like yes. have to be my puppy. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Oh my gosh. I pay you all night long. All right. <laughs> don't. Stick with the cats. <laughs> Oh, stop it, you. Don't even. <laughs> don't even go near it. Don't even go near it. I just, put my, foot, I just put my foot in my mom, so. I don't yeah. even go near it. <laughs> oh, wow, that's unbelievable. But, Bonnie, I want to, with everything that you're doing, just say out of some of these countries. So, that, you know, I want to be able to come on your show. I don't want you to be, I don't want you to Dead. get hurt. <laughs> I don't want you to get hurt. I want Thank you to be you. safe. I want you. I want you to be able. I want to be able to say I had Bonnie on my show. Thank you. Which I'm saying now, and after I seen that subway poster, I wanted to take it off, but there was like too many people in there. You know, <laughs> I figured if I did, Aww. somebody would holler at me. Thank holler you. That was a huge you know? honor. That was a very exciting month for us. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. That, yeah. Do you have one of those posters yourself? I don't. No, that would be weird. Uh, I should have taken a picture of that. That's what I should have done. We do have these other posters that are, uh, they're quite large. They're like 24 by 36. And I put one on my one of my best friends in the building's door one day when he came home. And he's like knocking on my door. We're not friends anymore. <laughs> like, what? It's funny. That but no, funny. I couldn't do that. I couldn't have a picture. Well, you know, whatever you're doing out myself. there with your show, with your movie. Thank you. Which is coming out again. When is your movie July coming July 22nd. Out? Fight Valley. Rob Hawk Fight Film. Valley. Rob yeah, Hawk check Film. it out. July 22nd. Am I around? Oh, that's uh, next month. Yeah. It's next month. Yeah. If you, will it be in the theaters? It's going to be in theaters, I believe, in New York and Philadelphia. Um, it's opening worldwide. I know that. It will be also, um, I don't know how it all works, but when I know it's opening in theaters. If you call me, I'll go to the movie. Okay, I will let you know. Yeah, I got I uh, need to find mm -hmm. what theater. I hope it's at the Bowtie Theater. That's my favorite on 23rd. I love going there. Movie date. Yeah, <laughs> we'll all go. We'll have a team, like team mini yeah. movie night. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it'll be fun. I think it'll be weird. You've done it 62 or 67 times, but I've never seen myself on the You've never the seen big yourself screen. on a big screen? No. Oh, man. I, oh, let me tell you, it's what? I can't even watch rush. my own TV show. I, I told tell you, you when it's on television. When I, the first time I ever seen myself on a, well, I've seen myself on a big screen, but it wasn't as big as it was when I did the movie Casino. Yeah. Where I played Artie Piscano. Like and when I seen that, I was about five rows from the front, in the middle, and I just melted in my seat. <gasps> now, at that time, I think I my would mother too. and father oh. <clears throat> were alive. So I uh, brought my mother to the movie, and they, they didn't believe in going to movies or restaurants, they say, I don't know if they wash their hands. I don't want to go in a restaurant. <laughs> they didn't go to movies. The last time they went to a movie was a silent movie, yeah. probably in Italy, you know. So when I brought them to go see a casino, I had a, my father wanted to go, but my mother had to twist her arm. And through the whole movie, she's looking in her pocketbook for chiclets. And every time I would say, Ma, there I am. By the time her eyes would focus up on the screen, I would be gone. Yeah, and it's it like piss, that. And it would piss it me like off. <clears throat> so with my big scene that I had on there, I said, Ma, there I am. I must have startled her. She went, oh, yeah, yeah, you're looking nice. I said, Ma, that's freaking Sharon Stone. <laughs> you know? But my father, Stone. my father couldn't. He couldn't believe it with the sound and the color yeah, and the I cursing. Bet. He just I loved bet. it. You he know, just loved and it. And he did. He really did. Yeah. And, um, and I used to bring my father with me to the sets. And uh, he was so proud of me. He used to tell me, but that's to my son. And that's to my son. Yeah. They don't know who I was. You know? <laughs> yeah. I and, bet. That's um, exciting. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I have to go with some yeah, friends. My mother, forget about it. My mother didn't face her one bit. You know, didn't face her one bit. But that's, that's a whole other story. But my father, that was my best friend. Uh, you know, he's a good boy. There you you know. Know. I don't know long I have them, but um, they're still here. Of course. You know. They they're raised a good hearts. son. They were? I said they raised a good son. They sure did, baby. <laughs> Tell me that when we're done tonight. <laughs> Tell you how good I am. Um, uh, um, yeah, you're right. So uh, anyway, I... Um, so after that, to see yourself on that big screen for the first time, it is a rush that that you you that runs through your body. It's like 
I can't even describe it. Yeah. You know, you feel like a featherweight, you know, and uh, it's so wonderful, you know. And when I left that theater, it was in the Ziegfeld Theater. That's where they had the, uh, uh, the not the screen, the first the first show okay. at the Ziegfeld Theater. And in the lobby. What year was that? Well, it, it, they started in 1994, and it, September 1994, and they got done with the movie January 19th, 1995, and then it came out at the very end of the year. Okay. At 95. So how many years ago? Was that, 21 years ago? Mm, about, yeah. You know? Yeah. And still, with all the movies that I've done, everybody comes over to me in a movie in the street and say, hey, aren't you the guy in the casino that screwed everybody up? <laughs> you know? Because... I, if you've seen the movie, right? Of course. Okay. Love it. I've seen that movie so many times. You've seen it? The bits of it, yeah. Okay. We'll talk. <laughs> you know? And uh, I love her. She says, oh, She's I thought great. you were Italian mafia. That's okay. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And um, where was I up to? Mm, it's 22 years old. Yeah, 20. With all the movies that I've done, everybody go, aren't you the guy from Casino? From ca not big find one. me guilty with Vin Diesel or analyze this and that. Soprano. Some with Sopranos. Yeah. You know? And, uh, but it's always, always Casino. Because I had a big part in Casino. Yes. You know? As I know. And, uh, but I don't mind. I don't mind. When people recognize me on the street and they want to take a picture with me and all that, I've never refused anyone It's an picture. honor, yeah, it's Never. such an honor. Never refused anyone, except one, but we're not gonna have enough time to uh, get into that one. I had some woman, I was sitting down with a girl <laughs> having, get into it. having dinner, and she came over to me and wanted to take a picture with me. I said, well, my, my steak just came, I don't want it to get cold. And I said, where are you? She said, I'm right over there. I said, as soon as I get done, I'll be right over there. Just a few minutes, she goes, well, well I'm leaving in two minutes. I said, well, you know, I don't want it to get cold. So she walked away. As soon as I picked up my silver, I'm, I'm cutting it. She, she made a U-turn, she came back. She goes, are you ready now? And she just walked away. She says, well, I don't know what the big deal is. I said, you know, I think you're being a little rude. You know? Yeah. I want to eat my steak. I don't want it to get cold. Yeah. She says, who the hell do you think you are anyway? <gasps> so. I said that to Vinnie Bella. I told, I told uh -uh. her where she could go. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> So she went there. So she went there. You know? <laughs> and she left me alone. Bonnie, thank you so much again. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joy. Velotar!